Broadcasting live worldwide. There's nothing worse than the flu season. Um, even when it's not the flu season. Nothing is worse than having um, you sit back and watch your child get sick. And then all of a sudden your wife gets sick. And then you're hoping and praying your baby doesn't get sick. And then you're watching over everyone and you start to get the sniffles. While as they start to bounce back. And um, yeah, that's where we're at right now in our home. <laughs> Wife's got the semi-flu. My daughter just bouncing back slowly off of her bug. We got Noah fighting it and making sure he's okay. And now Angel's got the sniffles. So today's a crazy episode. It's a power of prayer slash... Uh, talking about getting sick. Nobody likes talking about that, right? I know I don't. Have faith, let it begin. Thursday edition, May 12th, 2022. And it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel. Can you say, have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say, have faith. Let it begin. No, no, no. no? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah. Oh, Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Oh, oh, amazing. Oh, 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 oh. Noah. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Thursday edition of Have Faith Let It Begin. This is Angel, and I'm I'm battling what has been given to me in the house. That's right. Oh my goodness, we have just had a crazy 2022 year. It has just been non-stop. But, you know, despite what is happening um, in the world today and with the virus going around and people around us getting sick and, you know, things could be a lot worse. So we try to find the positive in the negative. And the positive that we have here is that no one has been hospitalized, that we are able to contain um, this crazy bug that Ariel brought home from the daycare, and how all of us are working as a team (laughs) to share the love of the sickness together. And nothing is worse than watching your wife and your child get sick, and you wearing your mask and doing your very best to try to make sure no one else gets sick but unfortunately it makes its way around and without even hesitation you start to get sick because there's nothing you could do it's just the way it is so that's where we are this morning um how did you deal with being sick are you the type of person that needs to just get into bed crawl into bed put on your favorite jammies, your socks, and lay there, watch a couple movies, or maybe you pass out a couple times, you come in and out of sleep. I know for myself, when I get to a certain sick uh, level, whether that's when I have a fever, especially when I have a fever, there's no way out of it. I am, I am definitely sleeping, and I'm not waking up. I am out like a light, and uh, quite honestly, I've never been sick since I've been diagnosed with sleep apnea. So I don't know how that's going to play out um, as far as like, you know, getting that flu type of sickness. I've had the bug, um, but I've never had a flu. I like symptoms and then have to wear the mask. I'm hoping that's going to be a little bit helpful and not only that, comfortable. So today is a, a crazy weird day. It's a Thursday episode and not that I want to throw out the, uh, the cold vibes out there and the flu vibes, but let's face it, there's a little flu bug going on in the Northeast. I don't know how it's happening everywhere else. And uh, a lot of us are trying to, you know, deflect it and fight it. I know I am. I know that I'm doing my very best to stay um, alert. And um, last night I had, I had to take over full duties, uh, 100% with the baby, which was okay. Um, I got about five hours of sleep, and uh, which is, by the way, that's very good hours of sleep. Unfortunately, there was some broken sleep because Noah got up three times. 
Um, but you know, listen, I was telling my wife, <laughs> my wife was apologizing. I'm so sorry. I'm like, why are you sorry? You know, for better or for worse. That's, that's what it's all about, guys. When you take that oath, when you take those vows and you're married uh, to somebody, or even if you're living with somebody, you're, you're committing to being there with, for that person. It's a team effort. And uh, if the shoe was on the other foot, my wife would be taking care of me. And she does a good job of that when I'm sick. And unfortunately, I've been sick a lot more than she has. So where do we go today with all this? Well, the message for today is quite simple. When a family member, a friend of ours is down, we have to remember to pray for them, to be there for them, to allow God to come into our homes, to place his healing hands upon us and allow all of us to rest, to gain the nutrients, to gain the ability to bounce back, the strength, and even sometimes to have that courage to fight the good fight. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to battle whatever it is that's trying to start. I'm not going to let it get the best of me, but I'm certainly not going to uh, not listen to my body and I will rest once my family bounces back. And I'm taking medication. I'm not going to go into work and give it to somebody else and spread that flu-like love symptoms to all the other people so that they can spread it to their families. But I know that I feel good enough, well enough, and I'm medicated enough that I am not contagious, or at least I hope. Today I'm going to double mask at work. I'm going to make sure that I do the best of my ability. But I'm asking all of you for prayer. We continue to lift up in prayer, of course, my family, myself. We pray for George, for Anita. We lift up in prayer for Carol, for Tony, for Mansa. We pray for Joe and Jim. We lift up in prayer Brian. We pray for John and Liz. We lift up in prayer, continued prayer for all the mothers out there. Hey, Mother's Day is every day, so we continue to pray for you. We pray for nurses all over the world because this week is Nurses Appreciation Week. And it should be a Nurses Appreciation Week every day. God bless each and every one of you for all the work that you do. We pray for our first responders. We pray for our um, our firefighters, our fire rescue, police officers. We pray for EMTs and first responders. We lift up in prayer our military personnel, foreign and domestic. We lift up in prayer our families, our brothers and sisters, our nieces and nephews, our cousins. We pray for our uncles and our aunts and our grandparents. We continue to pray for the children all over the world. We pray that this war ends in Ukraine and Russia. We pray that these people would find the peace that we find some type of understanding. We lift up in prayer to our government officials to find a way to stop this inflation so that all of us can try to find a better way of life. And we pray that this virus would please disappear. We pray this unto you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May God be with you. May God shine his light upon you and grant each and every one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. Hey, Tom, welcome back from your trip, my friend. Can't wait to record with you again. God bless. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know, and yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday, and it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready, fasten those seatbelts, because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we (laughs) impress... She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.